One. I tell you the loving girl. Women say they want one thing, but what they really want is everything else. <laughs> Think of this as a vacation from the shackles of matrimony. Is it possible our wives marry us because they want to spend some time with their husbands? Mr. Loco! <laughs> so let me understand this. If I take your advice, I can look forward to spending my days pruning in a tub of naked men? Thanks for the advice, but no. Where are you going? To beg Elena's forgiveness. Goodness me. Might one of you be Don Alejandro de la Vega? Yes. Phineas Gendler, attorney at law. I'm here on behalf of your wife. If you should have any questions, my address is on the letterhead. Good day, sir. Gentlemen. Senor, but you told me to make sure you didn't sleep past two today. Yeah. What's today? Wednesday. Of course. I have to pick up cookie. Ow! What happened to my clothes? I removed them last night so you wouldn't catch pneumonia. You removed them? After you came back from the cantina, you went for a spin. In my clothes? Si, sí, senor. This hotel doesn't have a pool. We have a fountain. Uh, I see. Well, thank you, Lupe. Perhaps you just can turn around, eh? I'll see you at confession, my child. Don't look at me like that. I know what you're going to say. No, no, I came here to lift your spirits, not to dampen them. Who said my spirit need lifting? Alejandro, you are being a pig-headed fool. Why don't you just go to Elena and tell her you were wrong? She's the one who wanted me to live a lie. To stop being myself. As if California could live without me. <laughs> Wake up, Wilhelm. I haven't had to ring that bell in three months. You should be rejoicing. I am rejoicing. All right. You cannot rot in this room forever. There's a new vineyard opening up tonight, and you're coming to the party with me. My whole life is a party. Thank you. No. Be at the lobby at eight. But don't bother coming to confession, because I'll never forgive you. You'd blackmail my soul, eh? Hell yes. Now, would anyone else like to interrupt my lecture by asking to go to the bathroom? Hmm? No. Well. Who can tell me what this word means? Joaquin. Joaquin de la Vega! Perhaps you can tell the class what statehood means to you. No more exploitation of the peasants by the rich, who oppress us with a flaming poker of injustice. And how exactly does a flaming poker fit into your little theory? It fits... in your butt. <laughs> Silencio! <laughs> now I will give you something to laugh about. <laughs> Come here, demonio! No.
Joaquín. Papi. So what's with you, huh? You're lucky Father Quintero didn't throw you out for good. So for me, oh, Stop making excuses. Why do you keep picking fights? I don't understand. Sometimes you have to fight. Oh, oh really? Says who? Says him. Listen, if Zorro were here, he'll tell you fighting isn't always the answer. How do you know what he'd say? Oh, trust me. I know him a lot better than you think. No, you don't. You've never been in a fight in your life. You didn't even fight to keep mom. Hey, 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 I am your father, little man. Don't talk to me like that. There is nothing on this earth I wouldn't do for you or your mother. You understand? Don Alejandro. Don Alejandro. <laughs> Guillermo. Hey. Qué gusto verlo por aquí. Igualmente, igualmente. Blanca. Hello. Oh, look at little Jose. Poor thing. He's as ugly as his mother. Oh. Look at Joaquin. We're growing up so fast. If business keeps up, we'll be able to pay you back sooner than oh, we thought. I told you, compadre, it was a gift. To celebrate your son's birth. Muchas gracias, don Alejandro. Hey, señor. That knife is only two dollars. <laughs> Well, I'll give you 500 for it. And for that, I'll take the deed to your rancho with the Lord's gratitude. We've already told you we'll never sell. Them man like you might want to keep this woman on a shorter leash. They said they are not selling, sir. Have we met before, sir? I would remember a man with wooden teeth. I remember a mixed breed just like a white man. <laughs> Think your pappy's gonna crow, little man? Or is he gonna cluck? Leave him out of here. Senora, as a gentleman, I am obliged to teach my son to turn the other. You mean that cheek? Is everything all right, boys? Respects the officer. Respects, respects. Think about my offer, or I'll be obliged to do the Lord's work. <laughs> <laughs> 